my favorite thing is the trapping, the trapping um, cabin because my dad was a trapper and I was raised as a trapper's daughter. My father taught people how to trap humanely and how to manage their trap line. And um, it's just part of our history. There was a lot of trappers here. A lot of single men came here after the war and they were given um, certain homesteads along main roads and along main trails were given to the soldiers. So they, a lot of single bachelors came and uh, that was one of that was one of the ways they made a little extra money, was going out and doing some trapping. They hunted to feed their families. Um, some people, my, my family had a few cows and they could eat beef once in a while, but mostly we lived on moose meat, deer. There was not hardly any elk around back then, it was moose and deer. But we have programs here in June. Um, the school kids come from different areas. Um, Valley View and Ridge Valley and um, grade one to grade seven and we had a grade nine class this year and they come and we have a little field trip, a little program for them and uh, the little ones like to make butter um, because you know to them they go to the store and that's where butter comes from so we explain to them butter comes from milk and cows and and how the cream set is separated from the milk, and we give them all a little jar, half full of milk, and they have half full of cream, and they have to shake it <laughs> for 10 minutes. And the excitement on their faces when they actually get butter is priceless. And then we strain it off, put it in a bag, you put their name on it, and they can take that home to share with their family, and they're so excited to do that. And then we make butter in the, the bigger, um, churn, crank churn, and then we serve it to them with homemade biscuits. Oh. And then we have a little, um, a little class where they can write on slates, like little blackboards, and these kids don't know what blackboards are. So we all give them a piece of chalk and a little slate, and they print their names, and they see what it was like to be in a one-room school. Mm. And we do have a one-room school here also. We did have the kids come, I think it was the grade threes, and we took this stuff outside and got them some hot soapy water and a bar of soap, and they washed all our all my tea towels, and they just thought that was the best thing in the world. <laughs> and then they got to rinse them and hang them up on a clothesline with clothes pins. And um, they really, no, got a feel for what it's really like to do laundry.